How are you guys doing? It's been a little bit. I apologize, been kind of busy. But in this video, I want to show you um, a new little item here. Kind of uh, something that kind of just happened over time. A natural transition from my fire department suspenders to these, I didn't even come up with a name yet. I don't know, I'll put it in the description and the title, the name of whatever it is that I came up with. But it's basically a pair of suspenders for a working man, a lineman, uh, someone in the shop. Um, these specifically for Santa Claus, who plays Santa Claus. Uh, I'm sorry, for the actual Santa Claus, for all you younglings that are watching, this is for actual real Santa Claus. Full transparency. I'm wearing these shades because this is the first time in 15 years, actually, in my life, that I'm actually able to wear shades. They're prescription shades, and there's actually no reason for me to wear them in here, but I kind of want to look cool for the world on YouTube, and hopefully I'll get more subscribers based on the shades. Second, um, there's no need for me to wear this apron at all. I'm actually working, but what it does do for me, it boosts my confidence because it doesn't show my dad bod. I'm not ashamed of my dad bod, but I want you to look at me and be like, man, that guy is in shape, it's fit. That's why when I'm putting my arm down like this, I'm actually flexing my tricep, which there is no need for me to flex my tricep, but I kind of want you to see the striations of my muscles, uh, the very few that I have now. So yeah, it's all a show, nothing's real, so I'm gonna play that game. Uh, so anyway, so let me show you what I did with these suspenders. All right, so these are basically my fire department suspenders. And I would say this is probably, probably my 10th um, order that someone asked me to modify my fire department suspenders. Um, not for FD use, of course. I've made something like this for an arborist before. And essentially, it's the same thing as my FD suspenders with the exception of the connectors. I don't use the double loop. I don't use the D-rings. If you guys want to know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link in the video here of an FD build that I have, a pair of suspenders. And what I usually do is I attach a D-ring down here and then I attach whatever I need to uh, to that D-ring. So this is a little bit different. These are big heavy duty snaps instead of the D-rings. And what that allows the customer to do is to snap them on and off. And of course I had to make these little belt loops, okay? I had to make these belt loops with um, a D-ring. So all he has to do is snap them on um, when he's working. So this is a prototype with this kind of version. I've never made them with these big clips like this. I'll do a close up here in a second, but I've never made them with the big clips. So we'll, I'm gonna give it to him and he's gonna test them out for me, let me know how they go. Um, but for now, what we're gonna do is try to put it on. This is my hesitation with this is these D these loops, these belt loops, are gonna be a pain in the butt to put on your belt, simply because there's no snaps. So how are you gonna loop it through there, back around, cause this is not, this is too big to go through your actual buckle, I mean through your belt loop itself, I don't know if that makes any sense. So you have to weave it through here, weave it through your belt loop, come back around the back, find your belt loop, then run it through there, so I don't know, unless guys are running their belt outside. I don't know, we're gonna have to figure it out. The reason why I don't like using snaps where you can just run it through your belt and then snap it back on itself is because I hate snaps. I hate snaps. So if this is too much, then I can actually make these with snaps, but I don't like making these with snaps. I don't like snaps, I don't use snaps unless the customer really, really wants a snap. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and try it on with this belt that I made pre-marriage and pre-kids, meaning it's not gonna fit, it's gonna be down to the last hole. Don't judge me. Alrighty, so we're gonna DC all these belt clips and this is how it's actually gonna be used. But while I do this, I have a question for you guys. Please leave them in the comments below. And the question is, I need a name for this. What do you think a good proper name for something like this is? Um, also, um, a good price point. Uh, my standard FD suspenders are about 120. This is 100% solid uh, English, I'm um, solid. This is uh, English bridal leather from Wicked and Craig. This is a chestnut color, but it's whole grain leather, handcrafted. See, is it too much to ask to do this? I don't think it is, right? I think guys can figure it out, right? This is not a big deal. You know what? I'm making this too complicated. This is actually not that bad. 
See, you just gotta, what is this on the inside of it? Which means I have to, I should have came on the outside of that, but it don't matter. It don't matter guys. I'll come on the inside of that. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think's a good name for it. I just realized I'm going over my old belt. That's stupid, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna edit the video. You know what I mean? I don't even care about it. Uh, yeah, a good name for this product, maybe a good price, and uh, if I even should put it on the website. I have a sneaky suspicion that uh, I'll probably get more orders if I were to put them on the website, to be honest with you, especially after this video. Maybe people will see it and say, man, that's a good idea. Uh, I don't know. This is kind of an organic business. I'm talking too much. I'll shut up. How about that? Okay, so you could see that wasn't too bad. Well, everything I said before, just disregard because um, I'm an idiot. Um, that was not bad at all to run that through there and it's solid. So this takes a second, clip, it makes that sound too. It says clip if you listen to it, watch. You heard, you heard that? Okay, you come around the front, you clip here. I actually like these. I'm not gonna lie. I just made myself excited. Okay, now I'm having a problem with this because I have girl hands, apparently. Okay. There it is. That wasn't too bad. I'm sweating. You can see my dad bought a little. It's okay, I'm working out. Round is a shape. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. So yeah, let me move the camera so you can kind of see what that looks like. And uh, hold on, let me move the camera. All right, so there it is. I don't know if you can see, but yeah. Okay. That went out pretty easy. So this is, I guess, would be the standard version and uh, let me move the camera up a little bit. Yeah, so there it is, guys. There it is right there. Um, maybe a name, I don't know what kind of name. Uh, shop uh, or heavy duty, a working man suspenders, something like that, something that sounds tough. Um, it's basically, like I said, to recap, my FD suspenders modified to fit on regular belt. These loops are designed for an inch and a half. I can make them for whatever, a two inch belt, inch or three quarter belt, and that's not a big deal. I thought the snaps were gonna be a big issue, but they, they're not. Um, sliding it over the belt was easy peasy, pumpkin wheezy. Um, the other thing I might do, uh, I could add a chest strap. I'll overlay a picture of, I used to make them before. Uh, they weren't really, uh, they weren't really uh, request it that much because that's one more thing you have to fasten when you're in a weight or structure fire You don't want to mess around too much. You just want to slip your suspenders on and get ready to go um, But these tend to if they're not too tight and you're Crouched though, they'll, they'll want to fall. I happen to have V shoulders, you know, so I have that problem but I can attach like a, a little strap with a, a Buckle a plastic buckle or I can even do a small um, a, a small buckle or a, a clip. I don't know how I want to do that, but I can easily add a a, a, shoulder, a chest strap. So that's another option as well. Um, anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Should I put it on the website? Uh, how much you think I should sell something like this for? Uh, and I need a name for it. Uh, and that's it. And hopefully I'll make some more videos soon. If you guys like the background music, I'll put a link in the description. Um, you can check out my other YouTube channel. I make this stuff from scratch and I'm on Spotify and all that stuff. But other than that, have a good day. You can see I'm sweating because my fans are on. I did it for you. Have a good day. God bless you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.